Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on PM Modi slams Congress says it protects masterminds of terror. Pakistan's inflation rate outpaces Sri Lanka amid economic crisis. And the UN will stay in Afghanistan but funding is drying up, says UN chief. And now for all the details, with barely a week left for Karnataka Assembly election, political parties have flared up the campaigning in the southern Indian state. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed three rallies on Wednesday for his ruling BJP and launched a blistering attack on the opposition Congress. In his rally in Mudbidri, Modi said the grand old Congress party protects the masterminds of terrorists and stands with the anti-national forces in the country. कांग्रेस आतंक के आकाओं को बचाती है तुष्टीकरण को बढ़ाती है Karnataka will go to polls on May 10 and results will come out on May 13 Apart from BJP and the Congress the regional Janata Dal secular is among the main contenders In a positive development Pakistan PM Shehbaz Sharif led government and Imran Khan's opposition PTI party have agreed on holding general elections across the country on the same date. However, an impasse on election dates still persists. Talking to reporters, Finance Minister Ishakdar said both sides during their talks had shown flexibility in their positions and if they proceed with sincerity, the next phase will be passed successfully. However, PTI leader Shah Mahmood Qureshi regretted that no decision could be taken on practicable proposals. He said his party is ready to go to National Assembly to give constitutional cover to the delayed elections, but they sought a written agreement with the government to ensure its implementation. There was no official word about when the next round of talks would be held. The inflation rate in Pakistan has outpaced that of Sri Lanka, squeezing the people's purchasing power amid almost flat economic growth. A report. The inflation in Pakistan rose to a record 36.4% in the year to April, driven mainly by food prices, the highest rate in South Asia and up from March's 35.4%, the Statistics Bureau said on Tuesday. The Finance Ministry has said headline inflation was expected to remain at elevated levels in the months to come, despite contractionary monetary policy by the central bank. Persistently high inflation has resulted in major lifestyle and consumption changes. बहुत से घराने हैं, बहुत इंतहाई मुश्किल सूरत याल से गुजर रहे हैं। मैं समझता हूँ कि इन्फ्लेशन के मामलात में, पेट्रोलियम प्रोड्यूस के मामलात में, इनको बैठ के सोचना चाहिए। बिजली के मामलात में, आपकी इंडस्ट्री बैठ गई सर, और इसके बाद जो है जाहिर है और अनिम्प्लॉयमेंट हो Pakistan has been in economic turmoil for months with an acute balance of payment crisis. To meet IMF conditions for a $1.1 billion loan, the government has removed subsidies and increased taxes, resulting in a depreciating currency. Despite such reforms, the talks with IMF have remained unsuccessful so far. UN Chief Antonio Guterres on Tuesday informed that the world body will stay in Afghanistan to deliver aid to millions of desperate Afghans despite the Taliban's restrictions on its female staff. After a meeting of special envoys to discuss a common international approach to Afghanistan, Guterres said concerns over the country's stability were growing. He warned of a severe shortfall in financial pledges. Humanitarian appeal for Afghanistan this year, which is just over 6% funded, is falling short of the $4.6 billion requested for the country in which most of the population lives in poverty. The UN chief stressed the meeting did not aim to recognize the Taliban's administration. The participants are worried about the stability of Afghanistan and have expressed those serious concerns. 
They relate to the persistent presence of terrorist organizations, a risk for the country, the region, and further afield. The lack of inclusivity, which importantly includes human rights, in particular those of women and girls, severely undermined by recent Taliban decisions, and the spread of drug trafficking with all its dramatic consequences. Bangladesh newly elected President Mohammad Shahabuddin has urged India to take more effective steps in persuading Myanmar to take back the Rohingyas who were forced to take refuge in Bangladesh to evade persecution in the neighboring country. Reports suggest the request was made during the courtesy call by Pranay Verma, the Indian High Commissioner to Bangladesh. In a reference to escalating security risk, Shahabuddin said that Bangladesh has sheltered the Muslim ethnic minority community for humanitarian reasons, but the prolonged stay is creating problems for the entire region. Nearly 1 million Rohingya Muslims fled a crackdown by Myanmar's military in 2017 and several of them reside in camps in Bangladesh. India has always called for the sustainable and speedy return of displaced persons to Myanmar and worked in past with both countries to resolve the issue. The famed lunchbox delivery men or Dabawalas of Mumbai are thrilled for the coronation of King Charles. They have bought gifts to be presented to the British royal as a mark of their years-long friendship. The famed Dabawalas or lunchbox delivery men of India's Mumbai are thrilled for the coronation ceremony of King Charles for which they purchased puneri turbans and shawls of the Varkari tradition to be presented to the British Royal on Tuesday. They said they will hand over the gifts to the British consulate to be sent to the king. They feel a special bond with the royal family ever since Prince Charles met them during one of his visits to India and also invited two Dabawala representatives to his wedding to his consort Kamila. Uh ये पुनेरी पगड़ी है जो बहुत बड़ी सम्मान की पगड़ी है हमारे महाराष्ट्रियन कल्चर में और जो ऊपर ना है वो आरकरी संप्रदाय का आभूषण है और बहुत बड़ा सम्मान सम्मानित अगर किसी को हम करने जाते हैं तो उनके प्रति वो भाव एक आनंदी भाव या तो फिर एक अपने पे इनका भाव एक सम्मान सम्मान का भाव वो प्रतीत करने के लिए हम लोग ये गिफ्ट दे लास्ट ईयर व्हेन क्वीन एलिजाबेथ पास्ड अवे ऑल द डब्बावालास हेल्ड अ प्रेयर मीटिंग इन मुंबई टू प्रे फॉर हर सोल्स पीस King Charles' coronation ceremony is scheduled to take place in a grand ceremony at Westminster Abbey on 6th of May. A massive crowd of devotees thronged the iconic Minakshi Amman Temple in India's Madurai city to witness a chariot procession on Wednesday as part of the annual Chiti Rai festival. The annual festival is widely celebrated by people in southern India and has six major events that take place over the span of 15 days. The most popular is the symbolic wedding of the Hindu goddess Minakshi and god Sundareswarar, which was held on Tuesday. As part of the rituals, priests convert the temple premises into a wedding hall and enact the scene of a celestial wedding. The wedding ceremony follows a grand feast where hundreds of devotees are served a plethora of local delicacies. Ambala Pakra de Tirikalyanam Kanaka Kam Pakra de Sami Kumbara Nangade in the Urivasha Toda Bala Nabdin and Umbra Adanada Kala Sami Pakrano Kavitl in the Kalami Vandrike. In the other last year, Pate in a Kadakana Balan the Kurvasha in the chair, so in the year of Pakan and Soli Vandate. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.